All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. We've got our crate in here. We've got all the int details that we want, um, and we've got it lit, but it may not be what we think it should look like, or it should look like. It doesn't look as cool, for, as a matter of fact, as, say, our substance one. Well, let's take a look at why. One of the reasons is because substance is using what is called a uh, physically based rendering system, a PBR. So if we take this clear color off, you'll see it's just using a picture. And in that picture, it actually calculates out um, where the bright light's coming from and where the dark light's coming from and makes it feel like it's a much uh, more accurate way to go. The texture where I'm using right now is called Glazed Patio. And we'll go out of here so I don't have to hear my computer thinking all the time. Okay, so, you know, it looks really good. Um, and let's try and do that same kind of feel we have with uh, that in there. In fact, let's let's play around with this and see if we find something we like better. Let's try this one. Uh, let's try this one. It's really bright. Uh, let's try bus garage. Not this. Yeah, let's just do the glazed patio for now. So we're gonna do glazed patio. It's a little bit less, it's more subdued and stuff, but it gives us a real feel. Okay, so how do we get glazed patio, the feel of glazed patio inside of our substance, or inside of our Unity? Well, it's pretty simple. What we do is we go find the picture they're using for glazed patio, and we put it in here, basically. How do we do that? Okay, well, let's do a little dance here. Let's come into our um, art assets. And then we're going to make a new folder, and we're going to call that new folder, um, create folder. We're going to call that um, skybox, just like that. We're going to open up that skybox folder, and then we're going to open up the place where we can find, let me change this to this. Uh, I love when it does this. Our Allegrhythmic Painter Resources shelf allegrhythmic environments so and this one is an exterior so I went to the folder the programs file allegrhythmic went to substance painter went to resources went to shelf went to the allegrhythmic again went to environments went to exterior and inside exterior we see there's glazed patio so with that open I can just drag this to here and now I've got that glazed patio in here but it's not that simple, as you can imagine. So I'm going to click on it, and right now, by default, it's set up as a default 2D image, input texture alpha, blah, blah, blah. We want to change that. So let's take a look at how we're going to change that. OK, so we're going to come in here, and we're going to say cube. And inside the cube map, it changes a couple other things. We're going to change it from auto to latitude, longitude, layout, cylinder, because that's the way that um, it's laid out for uh, Substance Painter. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to click Apply. And what it'll do is it's going to make a cube map out of it. What a cube map is, is five or six different directions a render, and they all seamlessly tie together. <coughs> so that's what we're looking at. So I've got that. Um, I've got that set up. Now we're going to take this and we've got a glazed patio in there. What we need now is a separate um, material for this. So I'm going to right click inside of here and I'm going to say create. I'm sorry, my brain was missing that word. Material, just like that. And I'm going to call this, um, we'll call this patio skybox like that then we're going to come down to this new material and we're going to change it from standard to skybox and we're called the cube map I believe um, let me yeah it's cube map so I'm going to take this glaze this glazed patio that we just made and drag it straight into that cube map and now I've got this cube map texture made for us to all like. So the next big thing is what we need to do 
So the next thing we need to do is open up and mess with our lighting inside of here. We've done a little bit of it before, but let's open it up again and say general, I'm sorry, uh, rendering. We're going to come inside of lighting settings, open up this tab. I'm going to throw this tab on here. Well, I was, but it's being stupid. So let's just do it like this. And I put them next to each other, actually. There we go. Um, and we can close this up there. Um, <clears throat> We can see inside of here it says default skybox. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to take this cool patio skybox and throw it onto here. And now our lighting has changed quite a bit onto the object too. So, and we want our sun source to be the directional light in the scene. So hold on. Let me see something. This thing. Okay, so next thing we need to do is figure out where the light is coming from because right now we've got light coming from this direction and most of the light in this image, as we talked about, is coming from that direction. So we need to re rotate this light to make it look like it's coming from the right direction. That looks about right. doesn't really matter where it is because it's directional light, so we'll just put it up here. All right. Now... All right, so we're close. We're getting there. There's some things we can do to make this better. Like right now, it doesn't seem to be very shiny. Like this. What's this way? No, we're not getting a lot of reflection on here. A couple of things the problem is is that this, the settings in the game are set to forward. So, or set to a, the wrong settings. So we're going to go project settings. We're going to open this up. And we are going to look at... Um, go to rendering... Audio graphics. Let me open this up a little bit bigger here. This may have changed. Deferred. Oh, yeah. Okay, so graphics is actually not where it is, it's in player. In player, we don't want the color space to be set to gamma, we want it to be set to linear. So we'll change that to linear. It takes a couple seconds here. Nothing crazy, but see now it's a little bit closer to the colors we're looking for. And then, um, so, you know, that's how we basically do it. Let's add a floor in here real quick. So we're gonna go game object, and we're gonna say 3D object, and we're gonna say plane. And it's way off in the distance, apparently. So let me do this. Zero, zero, zero. There we go. And we'll move the plane down to match. And there we go. And we might want to mess with this light a little bit. What we could do is we could face this way, grab this eyedropper, and try and grab something close to the colors we think are coming in here. Something like that, maybe. And maybe even turn this down to 0.5 or something and see what we get. There we go. We still got our shadows. We can push those shadows a little bit harder if we want. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this in an environment. And I'm going to do that in the second part of this today. So, I'll see you in a second.